Symmetry Tutorial. Today the art teacher is going to Berta's class, and everyone is very excited. He is going to show some crafts in order to understand symmetry better. The teacher loves symmetrical shapes because they convey order, balance, and harmony. They are very important in art. To begin, he handed out different colored paper figures to the class, and he told them that they had to look for a way to fold it so that the overlapping parts match. Let's start by looking at Amy's figure. Is there a place where we can fold the figure so that overlapping parts match? That's it! If we fold it along this line, the overlapping parts will match up perfectly. We call axis of symmetry of a flat figure to a line that divides it into two halves that would match up perfectly if we fold it along the axis. And a figure is symmetrical if it has an axis of symmetry. So Amy's figure has an axis of symmetry and therefore it is symmetrical. Is there any other place where we could fold the figure and have the two overlapping parts match perfectly? Of course! There is no other place so Amy's figure does not have another axis of symmetry. Look closely at Zoe's figure. Is it symmetrical? Great job! If we fold along this line, the overlapping parts match up perfectly. So Zoe's figure is also symmetrical. And does it have more axes of symmetry? Excellent! Zoe's figure has exactly four axes of symmetry, the number of points that a star has. Finally, look at Leo's figure. Is it symmetrical? Exactly! There is no line where the figure can be folded and the two parts will match up. So, Leo's figure is not symmetrical. It is so easy to figure out if a figure is symmetrical. It's time to create one. For this, the teacher brought a game. They have to find the drawing that would complete the symmetrical figure. Can you help them? Now they are going to do some crafts to create symmetrical figures. It's so fun! The teacher gave each student a piece of paper. He told them to fold the paper down the middle and draw any figure they want. Then they cut it out and when they unfold it, they get a perfectly symmetrical figure. Zoe decides to make a feather. She drew half on the fold of the paper and then she cut it out. She even cut the little hairs on the feather. Once she unfolds it, it looks great and so real. So she decides to make a few more feathers to create a headdress. She wants to get home quickly to start. To end the class, Berta passed out a geoplane with something drawn on it so that they can create a symmetrical figure and practice what they have learned. Can you help Leo create his? Drag the dots on the right until you have created a symmetrical figure.
brilliant, like the star you helped Leo create. The class has finished. They loved learning about symmetry with crafts, and you have learned with them. Now, keep practicing.